The Northern Territory Government's vaccination mandate has triggered heated protests in recent weeks. And now with Parliament's public gallery closed for security reasons, the Chief Minister was asked if any politicians have been the subject of death threats. Yeah, I, I have. Um, on a number of occasions, not just me, my family. I've been told my kid will be put in the grave. Like The emotional toll of his family's security concerns clear to see. After a long and painful silence, the Chief Minister eventually gathered his composure. We have a job and we'll do our job. Police say they're treating the matter very seriously and have confirmed a number of other politicians have also been the subject of threats. There's multiple investigations that we're undertaking uh, and we'll continue to do so. Um, once we meet a criminal benchmark, you can be very reassured that we will take action. Why are you forcing this to The opposition leader, who's had her own run-ins with people opposed to vaccinations, says no one in her party has been the target of threats. It's really important when people are expressing their views as strongly as they may wish to express them, that that doesn't descend into violence, threats and intimidation. It's not just politicians copying the anti-vax vitriol. When protesters played the last post at the Darwin Cenotaph on the weekend, local veteran Sam Weston shared his thoughts on social media, saying, please leave the last post for the military. Don't compare your cause with that of the freedom we fought for. Ever since, the cafe owner has been inundated with angry responses. It got a bit abusive, uh, then it, it went through the night and the next day I woke up and I had people giving me bad reviews for my business. A war of words with real-life impacts. Jono Gibson, ABC News.